All right, let's discuss sex in silos, and I'll explain what that means in just a minute, but I want you to picture for a moment an apple pie. Let's say that every piece of that apple pie is cut into the same size as the other pieces. Now let's say that that pie represents life. What that would mean is each individual area of life has an equal importance to it in that pie. Once one of the pieces of that pie enlarges, other pieces have to diminish in size basic geometry. If our career path becomes very, very important to us, that piece of the pie grows and our family life shrinks. If sexuality increases in our life, non-sexual relationships will probably decrease. If we spend all our time working out every day of our life, we might be in great shape, but we never have any friendships or any time hanging out with our friends. So all of life is proportional to that which we put importance on. A lot of people operate in life as though one area of their life does not affect the others. In reality, it does. Sex does not belong in its own silo, independent of every other area of our life. We can't sequester our sexual behavior into one area, put it off to the side, categorize it and define it as one thing, and think it doesn't affect us physically, socially, intellectually, spiritually, in, in, in our life. It, it doesn't work that way. Life is integrated. We don't operate in silos. An example of this is your makeup is as such, as is mine. You have a body, you have a soul, and you have a spirit. You have a physical, tangible body. You have a soul made up of your mind, your will, and your emotions. And you have a spirit. Whether that spirit has come alive to commune with God or is still dead and you've not accepted by faith what he has for you through Christ, then you you don't have a way of communing with God, biblically speaking. So the fact of the matter is we have three parts, whether they're all fully active or not, I don't know, but that's the three parts of man. Sex affects us in our spiritual condition. Our physical behavior affects our will, our desires, our thought life, and our emotions. Our, our, our physical sexual activity affects us spiritually because it affects the way we see ourselves, and it either increases or diminishes the importance of God in life. To be sexually active outside the protective boundaries God gave us for the power of sex is to rebel against them. That affects us spiritually. Anyway, the fact of the matter is, on life points, we're gonna give you ways of ascertaining how one area of your life affects another. These discussion points where truth intersects that area of your life is meant to inform you and inspire you to reevaluate or to think more and feel less or feel more and think even more. So sexuality affects us on every aspect of our life. Sexual immorality will affect us physically in terms of potential disease, pregnancy. We can physically abort a child but not be unaffected emotionally or psychologically or even spiritually. We make choices about our will and our desire and what we're gonna do in life that affects our bodies. We make physical choices that affect us in terms of uh, transmitted diseases or, or harm. We get into sexual situations that can harm us physically, where we take risk. All of these things affect our spirit as well. In summation, what God desires of you and I is an integration of all three parts of ourselves, spirit, mind, and body, to love him. He says it this way, I really want you to love me with all your heart, that's your soul, your mind, that's your soul, all heart, soul, mind, and strength, that's your body. Spirit, mind, and body. God wants all of you, and we parcel ourselves out to other people in neglect of him, we end up the lesser for it. Your identity, your will, and how you feel about yourself are wrapped up in your sexuality. Your spirituality and your sexuality are integrated one into another. They don't operate independently. We do not operate in a vacuum. So if you're depressed or you're anxious or you're nervous or you're afraid or you're, you're sick physically or you're spiritually down, all of those things could be the result of some of the choices we make in terms of the stewardship of our sexuality. Don't place them in separate parts of the pie. There is a connection between your emotional well-being and your sexual behavior. There's a connection between you and God or your lack thereof and your sexual behavior or any other behavior for that matter. Remember, 
or integrated. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know your thoughts.